Timeless beauty reminded me of Lena Horne. October 11, 1932, in a little town called Cuero, Texas, is where she was born. God gave me a future. He told me that I was chosen, predestined me. siblings. She got saved and married in her teens, igniting the spark to the beginning of her many goals and amazing dreams. She helped pioneer a church with her husband by the age of 21. Soon after, she had one daughter and five sons. Carmen was the first, and after came Wilbur G. Jr., Lamar, Stephen, Mark, and Thomas was her last. Married for 52 years, sadly her husband and life mate, Bishop Wilbert Gale Hardy Sr. passed. Take me to the king, I don't have much to bring, my heart's torn in pieces, it's my offering, take me to the king. Truth is I'm tired Options are few I'm trying to pray But where are you? I'm all churched out Hurt and abused I can't fake what's left Truth is I'm weak, no strength to fight, no tears to cry, even if I tried, but still my soul refuses to This lady is the true definition of elegant class. She is the proud superior granny monarch of 33 grandkids and 29 great grands. What a true lineage blessing from the savior she's received, along with numerous diapers that have been in her hands. At totals, 68 hearty kids originated from her love walking the lands. And yet, 
She still has room for a foster son named Anthony, who is an honorary 69th member of that Hardy Kid clan. Always dreaming about new business ventures, she is a lover of God, her family, traveling, and cooking. In 1984, she started her infamous bakery business from her home with amazing smells that could guide your steps to her without you even looking. Let me make this praise crystal like clear. Need your full spiritual focus from the comfy leather seats on stage all the way to the baby section in the rear. You know this angelic superwoman is bad cause she ain't even my mama and writing about her life's blessings brought to my eyes some tears. These words I speak exude sincere. Not just recognized as a pillar to her family and the Portland community, but she brought the humbleness of her legacy to the overall atmosphere. She's touched and inspired several lives. Many of you are up in here. I truly believe her and her aromas are known in heaven already and her pastries have been tasted by God and his crew as they too stand and applaud and cheer and call her Mother Dear. <laughs>